Hello and welcome to English Learning Hub. English Conversation. Part 1. Moods and Feelings. You look upset. Is anything wrong? Oh, I'm just in a bad mood today. Why? I think I failed my chemistry test. Oh, you probably passed. Well, maybe, but I always get nervous when I have to take a test. A lot of people do. But don't worry about it. You always do well in chemistry. You're in a good mood today. Yeah. I just got some good news. We got our chemistry tests back this morning. And? I didn't fail after all. In fact, I only made one mistake. That's great. Yeah. Hey, you look pretty happy today, too. I am. Exams are over and I'm having a party tonight. I hope you're still going to come. Of course. It sounds like fun. Can I bring anything? No, nothing. Everyone's coming around 8 o'clock. Okay. See you then. You look tired. Oh, I just feel a little depressed. I always feel that way on Sunday afternoons. Really? Why? Because the weekend is almost over. Well, why don't we do something? Maybe we could go to a movie. No. I don't feel like going anywhere. I'm not in the mood. Come on, you need to get out of here. Me too. Lucky in Love is playing at the Baronet. Why don't we go see it? It is. Well, okay. Maybe you're right. What did you think of the movie? I didn't like it at all. Really? Why not? I don't know. I just didn't think it was very funny. How did you like it? I liked it a lot. It really put me in a good mood. Part 2. At the Hollywood Bowl. David Wilson and Jessica Lopez are at the Hollywood Bowl, a large outdoor theater in Los Angeles. They're going to see an Italian opera. It certainly is beautiful here. It really is. Oh, look! Christina Aguilera is singing tonight. I don't think I've ever heard of her. She's a well-known Spanish singer, and she performs in the U.S. every year. I'm always interested in Spanish performers. My parents were both musicians from Spain. Oh, is Lopez a Spanish name? Well, Lopez is my married name. But, yes, my husband was Spanish too. That's interesting. Do you speak Spanish? Yes, we spoke it at home when I was a child. I also spoke it with my husband from time to time. My parents came here from Sweden, so I speak a little Swedish, but I didn't marry a Swedish woman. In fact, I've never married. Well, airline pilots travel a lot, so I suppose it's hard to have a family. Not really. Most airline pilots get married. I just never wanted to settle down. I can understand that. I got married right after I finished medical school, and I never had a free moment after that. A doctor's life must be very hard. Well, sometimes it is. Look, here comes the conductor. Part 3. Interview. Michael and Sarah are students at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. 
Today is the last day before summer vacation. Will you be around this summer, Michael? No, I won't. I'm going to spend the summer at home with my parents. Where's that? New Orleans. What are you going to do? I'm not sure yet. I've got an interview at the Washington Post at 1 today, so maybe I'll get a job there. Oh, yeah? That sounds interesting. Yeah. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Well, I probably won't see you before I leave, so have a good summer. Thanks. You too. And good luck on your interview. Thanks. I'll need it. Excuse me, how far is 15th Street from here? I'm looking for the Washington Post. About two blocks. It's between Vermont Avenue and 16th Street. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. So, you're looking for a summer job. Are you interested in working full-time? Yes, I am. And where do you go to school? Georgetown University. Oh, yes. I see that on your application. When will you graduate? Next July. I only have one more year. Do you have any special skills or interests? Well, I can use a computer and I know how to speak French. And in my free time, I like to read. Thank you very much, Mr. Miller. I'm really excited about the job. Well, I think you'll enjoy working for the Post. Let's learn new vocabulary. Depressed sad or unhappy for instance he seemed a bit depressed about his work situation settle down to stop moving and stay in one place or to start living in a place for a long time for example eventually i'd like to settle down and have a family but not yet conductor someone who directs the performance of musicians or an orchestra. For example, she is the conductor of our school orchestra. Keep one's fingers crossed to hope that things will happen in the way that someone wants them to or hoping for good luck. For instance, we're keeping our fingers crossed that he'll be healthy again very soon. If you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe because more useful content is on the way. See you in the next videos.